it smells so good. Gonna have to wait to find out what that one is. Jim Beam, Four Roses, Heaven Hill, Old Forester, Wild Turkey, Buffalo Trace. These are just several of the legendary names in bourbon that we are all used to. They all offer great selections on the shelf, normally at great prices, but on the flip side, they also offer a lot of hard to find allocated offerings at not so great prices. So I get asked all the time, what are the newer bourbon and whiskey brands that I'm buying today? What are the new brands that are unique, delicious, that are actually worth your time and money? There's a lot of selection out there. So what are the bottles that are keeping me interested and keeping me going back for more? Let's find out, it's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from the Master and Drum and welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, help grow the channel for 2023. Thank you so much, Whiskey Tube family. Okay, so new brands, yeah I know, there are a ton, which is why I really wanted to make this video. And I know I may not hit all the brands out there, so if you guys have a brand I don't mention, let me know down in the comments, you know, any newer brands that I should be trying or looking for. Now obviously, some of these will only be available in certain states, but at least you could have some new bottles to add to your hunting list. So before I get started, let's hear from today's sponsor. It's the game changer, it is Z-Biotics. Today's sponsor is back, it is Z-Biotics, the amazing prebiotic I've been using behind the scenes for a while now. Uh, with all the great feedback from viewers, it's really become the first drink of the night for a better tomorrow. I've been helping out with a lot of blends recently for you know a couple different people, including some friends, just you know kind of walking them through how I like to blend whiskey. And man, Z-Biotics kept me going the next day. You have to drink a lot of whiskey <laughs> in order to taste these blends and see if they're going right. And you know, Z-Biotics just works so amazing. So how does it work so well? So Z-Biotics was developed by some very smart scientists who knew the real problem is not dehydration. It's actually a byproduct of alcohol that is most responsible for rough mornings after drinking. Now Z-Biotics produces an enzyme like the one your liver uses to break down this byproduct. So anytime I know I'm gonna have a few drinks or I'm gonna be blending again or getting ready for my Wednesday night live streams, I take Z-Biotics and the next day I can wake up, get to work, I get back to the gym and I bounce back even faster than ever. All you do is drink one of these about an hour before you start drinking and that's it. You should still drink water, stay hydrated and always get a good night's sleep if you can. But Z-Biotics will definitely make it a lot easier for you to get out of bed or get off the couch the next day. I'm telling you, it's real science that works. There's no random plant extracts, no off the shelf ingredients, no sugar added, 100% money back guaranteed if it doesn't work. So give it a try. I mean, what do you got to lose? Here's how. So Z-Biotics is offering again for all you viewers 15% off your first order of Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic by clicking the link in the description box and using my code MASHINDRUM at checkout. Go to zbiotics.com slash MASHINDRUM and use MASHINDRUM at checkout right now to get 15% off your first order. There's a three pack, a six pack, a 12 pack. Go grab some now and thanks to Z-Biotics for sponsoring the Mash and Drum and thanks to you for making the sponsors happen. Cheers. All right, so first one up is a brand named 13th Colony out of Americus, Georgia. Georgia's oldest operating distillery. Their Southern Bourbon and Rye are absolutely delicious. The Southern Bourbon is 95 proof. It's aged between four to six years. The Southern Rye features the same stats that also has a French oak spiral finish. Now, their absolutely amazing double oak bourbon bottled at 135.3 proof is aged nine years with two years in that second barrel. Uh, really gives 13th Colony an impressive lineup of whiskeys for anyone to enjoy. The double oaked is limited, but it's coming out again this fall. Either way, if you haven't tried anything from 13th Colony, they offer great bourbons, good prices, add them to your list. So next one up on my list is Ben Holiday. Ben Holiday is one of the greatest unknown figures in American history. Born in Kentucky, he moved to Weston, Missouri as a teenager to seek fame and fortune. He became the original transportation tycoon, famed as the Stagecoach King for creating the Overland Express Stagecoach lines that were ultimately sold to Wells Fargo. Just one piece of a transportation portfolio that also included steamships, streetcars, and a railroad. He even owned the Pony Express briefly. Guy was a baller. So the actual Holiday Distillery was established over 166 years ago, which actually changed hands only three more times uh, before being acquired by the current ownership group in 1993. Today, Ben Holiday is the pride of Missouri. Their bourbon is bottled in bond, which is six years old, crafted with the same mash bill that was developed by Ben Holiday in 1856. They also just released their soft red wheat bourbon, which is one of the very few bottled and bond wheat bourbons on the market, aged six plus years. 
Both are around 55 to 60 bucks. Really impressive whiskeys, I think, for anyone to explore. I'm actually sipping the bottle of bond right now. For a 100 proof bourbon, this thing is just packed with flavor, good finish, good mouthfeel on it. If you haven't tried anything from Ben Holiday yet, you definitely need to add them to your list. So I can't mention a newer whiskey brand without Green River Distilling Company. Green River Distilling was founded by J.W. McCullough. He began making whiskey in 1885, traveled the world to promote his own brand. Green River Whiskey became synonymous with quality and known for producing some of the finest bourbon in Kentucky at the time. Now, over time, there was a fire, then a rebuild, and another rebuild, and prohibition. Over its storied past, numerous brands have been made at Green River, including Ezra Brooks, Mellow Corn, Medley Brothers, Old Medley, Five Brothers, and Kentucky Bow. So in 2020, Green River Distilling Company returned to its original name and now has two great budget bourbons for only $35 that I think can really hang with the Heritage brands. Their High Ride Bourbon and their new Weeded Bourbon, both are 90 proof and supposedly five to six years old. I think they're both great pours for the price and their whiskey seems to be getting better and better each year. They aren't overly complex, they're not gonna blow you away, but for 35 bucks, I mean, it's an easy add to your list. Next up is Hard Truth Distilling Company, who began distilling in 2015 in the small upper rooms of Big Woods Pizza Company uh, in downtown Nashville, Indiana. So in the fall of 2018, Hard Truth Distilling Company made the move to its brand new state-of-the-art sweet mash distillery where it's been producing hard truth spirits ever since now their cornerstone whiskeys are their sweet mash rye whiskeys that are absolutely delicious now the barrels range in age from two to three years old however the whiskey shows absolutely no signs of youth the mash bill is 94 percent rye six percent malted barley it's uncut unfiltered and an amazing mix of sweet and savory and rich fruit forward flavors especially for a rye whiskey they also have a chocolate malt rye, a caramel malt rye, and a malted rye, all made with their signature sweet mash process. Now, retail price on these is about 70 to 80, which may seem pricey for such a young whiskey, but it's really hard not to be impressed by these rye whiskeys from Hard Truth. I mean, highly recommended. So Ryan, Cecil, and Kenny Coleman are the creators of Bourbon Pursuit Podcast, the number one whiskey podcast, and the proclaimed official podcast of bourbon. For years, I got to talk to a lot of individuals in the industry and learn what it takes to create, select, and blend great whiskey. And when it came time to create their own brand, they wanted it to be different. It would have been easy to buy a bunch of barrels from NGP or Kentucky uh, and put a label on it, but that's what most of us would call more of the same stuff. So enter Pursuit United, the goal of uniting whiskeys from different states to create something unique. Uh, their bourbon is a blend of New York, Kentucky, and Tennessee, not Dickel. <laughs> Bottle at 108 proof, uh, while their rye is a blend of Kentucky and Indiana rye, also bottle at 108 proof. Ryan Cecil, in my opinion, has gotten just better and better at blending with each and every release. The ryes in particular have been stellar, and the bourbon is unique and balanced. Now, they recently added this bourbon, which was finished in toasted American and French oak, along with the rye finished with sherry French Revere oak, that add even more unique depth to their blends. To me, Ryan and Kenny are doing a lot of stuff that the Whiskey Geek wants these days. Something unique, they're being transparent about what's in the bottle, and it's full flavored without breaking the bank. It's about 65 to 75 bucks a bottle. Just add it to the list. They are great blends. Next up is Buzzard's Roost Sipping Whiskey, which started in 2019 after Julie Hollis Jones and Jason Brauner met while doing a barrel pick. As the two got to know each other, an idea started to form. Let's start our own bourbon brand. They, uh, they knew they wanted Buzzard's Roost to not just be exceptional, but unique. So they turned to a trusted barrel expert at Independent Tape Company, who work with them to create proprietary barrels for secondary maturation. Now they have a proprietary process to treat their barrels and have built a huge taste profile that they've worked on for over three years. Buzzard's Roost is built around, I think they have about six expressions and they have some special limited release whiskeys that are launched several times a year, uh, including a barrel strength bourbon, a char one bourbon, a toasted bourbon. They have a cast strength rye, char one rye, toasted rye, toasted French oak rye, and the cigar rye. Now, is it more sourced whiskey? Yes, but what Buzzard Roost is doing, aging and finishing those whiskeys, is what sets them apart, and also the blends that, how they combine the whiskeys. The bottles can range from 60 to 80 bucks and are well worth the gamble. For me, the number one char bourbon and cigar ryes are the most unique, but really, anything you try, I think, can, can impress most whiskey geeks. Next up is Driftless Glen out of Baraboo, Wisconsin. Now, the beauty of this whiskey is where it's made. The Driftless area, uh, in Wisconsin is also known as Sand County, and it's distinctive from the rest of the world because of a specific combination of temperature, water, soil, and weather, which all combine to help give 
this whiskey a very distinct flavor profile. This is a straight up grain and glass distillery and they create some of the most rich flavor bomb whiskeys I've had in the last several years. Their bourbons and ryes are dark, dense, bring flavors like raspberry, chocolate, butterscotch. I mean, their single barrels are, those are the ways to go. The standard offering small batch and single barrel rise and bourbons are bottled at 96 proof, but like I said, you can also find these single barrels that can range in proof all the way up to 120, maybe a little bit higher, that are just absolutely amazing. Again, it's a, it's a unique flavor profile, but it's one that I think a lot of people will enjoy. I mean, look how dark this whiskey is. This is a rye. I mean, it is crazy dark. So just goes to show you how much flavor they're packing in these bottles. All right, so next up is K. Luke, which is a big surprise to me uh, when I first tried these. Uh, K. Luke Whiskey Company owner and president Jonathan Mezzano. He's tried over 1,400 single barrels ever since he made that first trip to Kentucky back in 2014. Um, he has selected more than 350 to be deemed as Mezzano hand selects at his retail store, Mezzano's Fine Wine and Spirits. So K. Luke, as I found out, is named after his two children, Caitlin and Lucas. K. Luke. So Jonathan blends single barrels from Kentucky and Indiana to create balance in these multi-layered small batch offerings. His wife and co-owner Jennifer shares the same passion for enjoying wine and whiskey and also tastes through each small batch blend blind. So only the best blends move forward to be bottled and deemed good enough to be, you know, K-Luke. So they've already released four batches of their $80 small batch, 100 proof bourbon, and their $110 small batch barrel proof offering. This batch four barrel proof is already one of the best bourbons I've tried this year. It is crazy good. They have a rye on the way, and I'm sure batch five will be out at some point soon, but the balance and flavor of these blends are better than most of the limited editions coming out from the big brands. And it's not even close. I'm telling you guys, you know, keep an eye out on sealbox.com. I think these do drop there, but these are absolutely delicious whiskeys. Next up is this curious little brand called Detling 1867 Alabama Bourbon. That's right. FX Detling was founded in 1867 by Franz Xaver Detling in Brunnen, Switzerland. For over 150 years, the Detling distillery remained in operation and the original location producing the most awarded Kirsch in the world. Kirsch is a brandy, by the way. Um, biggest Scambia Spirits licensed the Detling trademark for whiskey, starting a new chapter in the storied family brand. This is a grain to glass distillery matured in full size barrel aged in the extreme Alabama heat. They have a small batch straight bourbon. They have cast strength single barrel bourbons with a couple of bottle and bond whiskeys on the way. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Driftless Glen, which we just talked about with being driven by such a huge amount of flavor. I'm not sure about the availability of these wherever they are in different states or online, but they are really good and another brand to put on your radar. Detling, 1867. All right, guys, last one on the list today, Found North. Yep, Canadian whiskey. I know, it's crazy. So co-founders Nick and Zach Taylor have this mission to pretty much take the notion of Canadian whiskey what people think about it and just flip it on its head. And I think they've done a great job with it. So this is their 17 year cast strength whiskey, which has a blending bill of 87% corn, 12% uh, rye and 1% malted barley. It's 17 years old. It is an absolute flavor bomb. You know, most Canadian whiskeys are blended for smoothness and easy sipping, not these guys. These guys are taking the best parts of a Canadian whiskey and blending it and making it super flavorful, super rich. Now, when I say blend bill, when you read those percentages, it's not a, it's not like a typical mash bill, you know, 87 corn and you know, that's not how this works. These percentages are actually the percentages of the lone whiskey that's in the blend. So 87% of the blend is corn whiskey. 12% uh, of the blend is rye whiskey and 1% is malt whiskey. So they're literally taking different components that are aged in Canada, blending them together, finishing them in Hungarian oak, presenting them a cast strength. And I think they're doing some really great things with it. Their single barrels are starting to hit as well. This is a uh, toasted, uh, toasted rye whiskey, which basically just tastes like maple syrup. It's delicious. I know Canada maple syrup, but I'm telling you, it tastes like maple syrup. There's just a lot out there to try from Found North. I think they're a little bit more pricey. You're looking at like 120, 130 bucks, which I think some people are like, I'm not paying that much money for Canadian whiskey. But again, this is not your typical Canadian whiskey. I absolutely love this stuff. Can't get enough of it. And it's definitely the last one you should add to your list to check out. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed this video as we took a look at some of the uh, other whiskey brands that I am enjoying you know, aside from the big heritage brands that we all know and love. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Let me know down in the comments if there are any brands that I missed that are really impressing you. Again, 
We're talking, you know, not about Maker's Mark and Heaven Hill and Wild Turkey and some of those brands. You know, what are some of the newer brands that are impressing you that you're really enjoying? Uh, let me know down in the comments. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers, go, go find some of these and try them. I'm telling you, it's always fun to explore. Cheers, guys.